Right, here we go again, guys. I just had to, I didn't realize, um, I've just been preaching and and it didn't, it didn't upload because there's no storage space. So I just had to delete a load of videos and stuff. So anyway, here we go. God bless you. God bless you, Leeds. I've come here to tell you that time is short. Jesus Christ is coming. The Lord himself is going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ are going to rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Don't be left behind. Because immediately after Jesus takes all believers up into heaven, the great tribulation period will begin. The apocalypse period will start. When this man comes on the world stage, proclaiming himself to be the saviour of the world, he will even say, I am the Christ. But he is the false antichrist. And he's going to cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Without which nobody will be able to buy or sell anything. But everybody who takes that mark in the right hand or in the forehead, the Bible says, will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Please repent and believe the truth. And you won't even have to be here for what's coming upon this world. Because it's really going to be bad. It's really going to be bad. God loves you, but you've got free will. You've got the choice. You can either receive the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, or reject it and say no, and be one of the many who only find out how real hell is when you land there. Get on board the ark of salvation by believing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You need saving. The Bible says you need saving for all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which he wants to give everyone according to his word, is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes, no matter who you are, and no matter what you have done, turn to the Lord Jesus, because he's promised that he will not turn you away. God is only asking one thing of you, not that you go to church every Sunday, not that you become religious, but that you believe. One thing only, can you not do that one thing and believe on the Son of God who died on the cross? to pay the penalty in full for our lifetime of sin and he was buried and he was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures that's the blessed gospel and if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved that's how simple God has made it God has made it simple that a little child could understand it because God wants all to be saved but it's all down to you in your heart whether or not you are going to believe the truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ or reject it. Why would you reject the one and only who can save your soul and grant you everlasting life, the Lord Jesus, the Son of God? Because if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sin, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, then we're calling God a liar. And no liar shall inherit everlasting life. If you say that you've no sin, you're deceiving yourself. And the fool says in his heart that there is no God. Psalm 14. Return unto the Lord your God by believing the good news, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
for it is the power of God unto salvation for everybody that believes, no matter who you are and no matter what you have done. God loves you, but he's given you a choice. He's given you free will, either to accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And I can't imagine why anybody would reject everlasting life and take the gamble that there's no hell and only find out how real it is when you land there. Believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Reject him and you will land in hell. I've also come here to lead today to, to warn you, to warn you about what is coming upon this world which is so bad. But first the Lord Jesus will come and he will take all believers up in the rapture. Jesus is coming. He's going to take all believers, all born again Christians up into heaven and then the great tribulation period will begin. Revelation, apocalypse, when God will pour out his wrath and his judgments upon this unbelieving, unrepenting world which refuses to acknowledge the Lord our God who gave us this life, who supplies us with all we need. He clothes us, he feeds us, he houses us and yet most people don't even spare in a thought. But if you believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be saved. Because our sin separates us from a holy and just God. That's why God sent, gave his only begotten son Jesus, that whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Perish in hell. That's what that means. God gave his only begotten son Jesus as a sacrifice to shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of our lifetime of sin. And he was buried and was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the blessed gospel. And when you believe it in your hearts and call upon Jesus, you will be saved, sealed, sealed with Holy Spirit of promise, meaning you will never lose your salvation. You will be sanctified, which means set apart as holy to the Lord. You'll be justified before the God of the whole earth. You'll have a one-way ticket to heaven and you will escape the damnation of hell. And Jesus said, except you repent, except you change your mind and believe the good news, then you will perish in hell. So small at the time. It's just in a little red bar above the thing, but I, I, I'm supposed to wear glasses. That reminds me, I need to. <laughs> I keep missing appointments. I've missed loads of appointments at the opticians. Anyway, here we go. I'm finding it very struggling hard today. It must be because of the oppression in the air and the rise of the Antichrist spirit. I see so many people filled with darkness. So many people angry and, um, you know, it's a shame, it's a shame, it's a shame. I'll just carry on. God bless you, Leeds. I have come here to tell you, the Bible says that all can be saved. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved, but he's left us with a choice. We can either accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I wouldn't reject the one and only who can save your soul, forgive all your sin, fill you with his love, seal you with his Holy Spirit of promise, and write your name in the book of life, and write your name in heaven. Why would you reject the Lord Jesus? who was beaten so badly, he was unrecognizable. They nailed him to the cross. But it was God's plan to do this, to make him as an offering for sin. The Son of God shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sin. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. And if you shall confess with your mouth, 
the Lord Jesus and you're not afraid nor ashamed to say, I, be I believe on you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. And you believe that he died and rose again from the dead. For all your sin, you will be saved. But time is running out. I wouldn't hesitate any longer because Jesus Christ is coming for his church. The church is the body of believers, not the buildings you see. We are the church. Return unto the Lord your God. Believe the gospel of the, the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He will go in and out and find pasture. The thief Satan, the devil, the father of lies, the God of this age, comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ is come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly, even everlasting life. And this is available to you all. This is available to everyone. Everyone who believes. There's nothing you need to do to get saved. You can't earn it. You can't earn it by being good. The Bible says there is none good. No, not one. Only God is good. So it's not something you earn salvation. For by grace are we saved. Through faith. And that not of ourselves. It is the free gift of God, not by our own good works, lest any man should boast. Time is running out. Accept Jesus today. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this wicked generation, then of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Jesus Christ is coming. Don't be left behind. Believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and you won't be left behind when he raptures all believers up into heaven. When the Lord himself descends from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which are alive and remain, all believers in Christ which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord and then this world according to the prophet Isaiah shall be turned upside down during the great tribulation apocalypse period when God will pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving unrepenting world which refuses to acknowledge the Lord our God Believe on the name of the only begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ, and his sacrifice for us on the cross, and you will be saved. It's so simple. So simple. God made it so simple for you all to be saved. God bless you all. I pray that he blesses you all and touches you all with his love today. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's stop this one and start a new one. All right, guys. I'm just, I think I need to go to the toilet. That's the trouble when you're on your own. I've set, set my little stool out and I've got to pack it all away and, and come just to go to the toilet, you know. <laughs> Never mind. I can't just leave it here. So somebody will soon out of it away. I hope you're all right, by the way, guys. Um, if, if you're like me, you're just like wanting the Lord to come because that's how I feel. I, just, I want him to come. come. I've had enough. But we must produce that fruit of long suffering. Preaching to myself here. Long suffering and patience as we wait for Jesus. And um, fulfill our calling. Find out what your calling is. It might be to hand out gospel tracts in the streets or set up your own Facebook page or, or YouTube channel or what, I don't know. There's lots of things you could do. You could, if you don't like, uh, if you're a bit nervous of going to people and handing out tracks, put them on car windscreen wipers on, on dry and sunny days. Things like this. There's lots of things you can do if you use your imagination. Take that step of faith. And when you do, the Lord takes over. 
All right, guys. I love you all. God bless.